Well, we have a function that returns a high with a random number. And use it for title. And find it here. Alright, just a simple function. Then we can create a JS file and put the function inside it. Then simply use export and function name in curly braces and save it. Then import function name in curly braces from file name and the file extension is not important. Then it works. Curly braces use when we want import exported functions or classes or variables. But if the default export is used There is no need for curly braces. And the imported name can be anything. You can choose any name you want. because it is exported default and also we can export multi functions or classes or variables just put them in curly braces and separate them with commas and import in the same way Or we can use export before functions and now we don't need this. In addition, we can also have a default export in each file. And to import it, put it outside of curly braces. Let's make it a little more interesting. Well, we can also export and import consts and use them. And we can also use export and import nested. Let's create names.js. And put first name. And last name inside it. 
and export them. Then we can import them in pen.js and use values. And we can also do more. We can export full name in names.js. And export it again in pen.js in one line by using the as keyboard here first import full name from names and then export it as my name and also we can export it default And here remove curly braces. And import default and export it as default also work. And we can import default and export as my name. And now need curly braces. Alright, we can read more about export and import on Mozilla's website. But what is this export default in every Vue.js component? It actually exports a JavaScript object and passes it to Vue.js. In main.js, here the app is first imported from the app.view. Then it is passed to create app. So we can pass an object to it directly and define a template here. But it seems we need to import Vue.js from here. 